Hello again. Uh, this is my fifth Kerbal Space Program um, mission. Uh, this is my Minmus uh, rover. Um, so this stage here is my rover with the uh, four um, airplane wheel things to get it driving around. Got some more CS on it to help move it around. And this is the thing that's going to carry it down. Um, it's kind of semi-inspired by the um, Curiosity uh, power descent uh, uh, stage so um, okay so this is going to be the first part of the mission the first half is this rocket taking Neil Rim up to uh, up to Minmus and he's going to drive around on the surface of Minmus for a while and then I'm going to send another rocket in part two that'll have his um, his uh, return mission so uh, it'll be two of the uh, other Kerbals in a three-person uh, pod, and uh, one of them will just be standing on a launch pad, and then uh, he'll just climb inside that, and they'll all return home safely, hopefully. Um, so, I guess we'll just get started. Um, I might speed up this section of um, going straight up and getting into an orbit, and from there on, then I'll do some uh, kind of uh, adjustments to make it match um, the minimus angle of orbit and that sort of thing. So here we go. Okay, so that's the uh, st separation of the first uh, few um, rockets, and now I'm going to start tilting over and hopefully make it into an orbit without having to play catch up like every other video that I've done so far. Um, I'll probably get distracted in a second, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've got an orbit now. Um, I've got not much fuel at all um, for the actual trip to Minmus. Uh, it looks like a tiny amount of fuel in this stage, and then the actual um, lander stage has uh, fuel that I'm going to have to use, I suppose. Um, so we've got a reasonably circular orbit, 125, 108. It's not too bad. I'm going to make it a little bit more circular now, actually, with this last bit of fuel here. So this is 125 and 120 124, 125, that's fine. Um, okay, so now need to match with uh, Minmus's orbit. So, oh, this is so cluttered. Um, okay, let's see. Once I am, once this is pretty much over the intersection point where that line of Minmus's thing crosses over the same point on my orbit right now, then I am happy to uh, try and tilt it over. Um, I might actually just try and tilt it over now beforehand. So I'm going to be tilting, uh, tilting it downwards so that I can pull down this side down to match 
that line there. So where am I? Which one of these is mine? That one there. Okay. So where are we? That's where we actually have a bit of a weird tilt going on anyway. But this is us and it looks pretty good to start tilting over now. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. So now we're at, yeah, it looks, it's a little bit off, um, but it looks pretty much right where I'm at the same angle as uh, Minmus's orbit. So now that we've got that done, I can go ahead and do my burn towards it. How are we doing on fuel? Plenty of fuel left to get there and hopefully land as well safely because it's not a return mission, so I can spend more fuel getting there. Um, it's not a return mission on this stage anyway. The next stage is bringing them back. Um, so I did. I did try this before, you know, and it uh, and it worked fine. Uh, the second time I tried it, I had a terrible landing and completely just ended up blowing up. But it's fine. Okay. Funnily enough, I find that if I want to go to Minmus, I can use the exact same rule that I did for going to the moon. Uh, it seems like the amount of fuel you need to get to Minmus is pretty much the same as the amount of fuel you want to get to um, the moon. A little bit more, but not too much. So I can pretty much, and the amount of time it takes as well seems pretty much the same. So I can do my thing where I say 10 past 6 again, and I think it works pretty well. Um, it might be exactly right, but it, it works pretty much once I hit this line. I'm, I'm being captured by Minmus's orbit. So, I'm going to start and tilt this thing around. Luckily, it's pretty easy now with a, a smaller stage. So, take a look. There's the moon on its moonrise there. Tilt that there and fire off a bit. Just do small, gentle burn and push this out enough to uh, reach Minmus around here. Okay, almost reached this now, and there we go. And it looks like we're gonna smack right into it. Um, I at the moment I don't really mind that because this is the first landing. I can just choose wherever I want to land; that'll be fine. But if uh, it'll just be in the return mission when I need to find exactly the same landing spot. So as long as I'm pretty much in line and over the equator, it'll be fine. Funnily enough, the Minmus and the Moon seem to be pretty much in sync here. Like, uh, so I could have actually landed on the Moon first. It was it was perfect timing to uh, hit into the Moon as well, which is a bit funny. But um, here we go. Just gonna take the trip away now. On our way to this tiny little planet. So I managed to avoid the Moon, but we might come a little bit close. Yeah pretty close but uh we're okay not captured by its orbit or anything like that just just missed it so i don't need much fuel to land on minmus because it is such a i am um, such a small little planet or whatever actually it looks like i will be able to get into an orbit around minmus um, cuz i just swing around it just beforehand 
and uh, it's um, so I can try and land on an ice field or something like that because that will be the best way of doing it. So I'm just going to speed up time a little bit. Once I get to my periapsis, I'll spin it around and make myself into an orbit. Okay, a little closer. Not too long now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and swing this around and go in reverse. to make myself get into an orbit and slow myself down. There we go. So this is just gonna pull this thing around so it wraps it around in an orbit. Get a little bit worried about the amount of fuel we have left, but uh, we should be okay. The way I designed this was so that these um, engines wouldn't have any effects on any of the stuff beneath it and burn it up or anything like that, which I was kind of afraid of for a while. But um, it seems like we'll be okay. Get ready to cut the engine soon. Oh, I've got a weird wonky orbit here, but we should be okay. Okay, I'm just going to go in that close so that I can have a look and see if there any good landing spots. There's something weird going on here. Perhaps it's a bug of some kind. It looks like there's some sort of weird bug going on there. I I feel like clicking into it to see what the hell is going on there, but uh, it it looks like a couple of things probably fell into the into inside the moon, and uh, which isn't a great thing to happen. So here we are. Gonna have a quick look around. See, is there any safe place to land? Um, this side looks particularly dangerous hmm this this is the side I'd like to land on I think so yeah in that ice field would be quite a nice place to land so let me see how shall I do that okay I'm just gonna take a big spin around again and pull in this side of my orbit So there we are. Use that now to bring this right in. What I could do is actually just bring it right in to the point where I'm actually just going to smack down here. So maybe pull it in so it's just hitting around here somewhere. And then when I slow down even more, it'll bring it down towards the ice. Um a little more okay so now I'll hopefully just be landing somewhere here um, okay so speed up time a little bit we should see the ice field in a second and there it is and this is hopefully where we're gonna touch down and I'm just going to make I'm gonna use my usual rule of keeping these uh, leading digits um, smaller and lower than these leading digits so once I do that I know I'm safe so I find my uh, green X so 
So this is the uh, power descent stage, which I've been using to get all the way from Earth. Um, I don't know, I probably should have um, stuck on some large boosters or something at the beginning, um, the usual solution, um, so that I could uh, just use this as a descent stage. But I would actually have tons of fuel left, and when this was released, it would probably have enough power to go off into an orbit um, itself or fly off to the middle of space somewhere rather than crash down like um, the Curiosity one did, which is probably a better solution. So just a couple of small little burns, kind of the safety burns, just to make sure that I'm definitely going to have uh, enough time to slow down. less exciting than the uh, seven minutes of terror or whatever the curiosity I had to deal with this is more like uh, 20 minutes of uh, slow um, aggressive safety burns <laughs> you know, it's, it's not not ridiculously exciting so we're getting pretty close now okay I can start to see the textures of the ground here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy the wheels here. Slow myself down a little more. Don't want to come to a complete stop. Okay, it looks like we're almost at the surface now. There we go, and we're safely down in the ground, and this thing is just flying off to hopefully crash somewhere. And what I might try and do is very quickly just disable these engines, or maybe disable fuel flow. So that it'll just crash on the Minmus, assuming it might, it might even have a... Okay, it looks okay. So... All I have to do now is make sure that I don't get hit by um, Minmus in any way. Okay, so that looks like the broken one there. Apparently I can't switch vessels while about to crash. Okay, so that was that one. And I'm going to go to tracking station now real quick because it's being screwed up so this one here so I'm, I'm sad we didn't get to see the landing of the other thing oh <laughs> there it is the uh, wow it, it it hardly even got destroyed only the only 
like the decoupler at the bottom or something got destroyed there. I didn't even know. It looks like pretty intact to me. Um, so here we have this rover on this ice sheet now. And uh, Neil is pretty happy inside. Um, now he could, he could easily um, fly around a lot quicker, you know, than this thing will probably let him drive. But, you know, so let me just get my bearings. So backwards, forwards, left and right. Okay, so we might as well go and have a look at this lander a little closer and see how that fared. It's actually pretty funny now. Like you don't want to go too fast on this because it's so easy to go way quicker than you intend. There it is. It's pretty much fully intact. So it's almost, and it's upright as well, it's almost like a little statue left there. Or maybe maybe some kind of beacon. I don't know. But um, I think um, somewhere that would be pretty fun to check out. Let's see. Maybe just go check those mountains or something like that. And see what, what things are like over there. Like there's something dark over there, I suppose. Oh, it looks like there's a few of them, but it's probably just rocks on the mountain. So we can't be too far away now. I want to make sure I slow before I go up that slope. Looks like quite a large rock over there in the middle of the ice. I think I'll go check that out. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Careful now. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's... That's a problem. It looks like we have four wheels still. So, hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be able to survive this. I have no idea. Just trying to kill this rotation now. Oh, are we going to land on our wheels? Maybe. There we go. That's another... We have one RCS tank left. Um, okay. So. Don't try and make turns without slowing down on Minmus. Uh, lesson learned. Okay, we're upright. Okay, let's see if we can actually control this. It looks like we're still able to drive. Um, so perhaps, perhaps we'll still get to do a little bit of uh, research here. Okay, so, so as we'll get Neil to come out here. Wow, jumping is uh, ridiculous on Minmus. Oh, 
Never mind, apparently this isn't a rock at all. It's a gelatinous blob that um, absorbs people. But, you know, he does some samples on the gelatinous blob and then uh, he decides it's time to get back in his very unstable, very dangerous uh, RCS uh, rover, which somehow, somehow is still working. Still rolling as well. actually drove quite a large distance from about from the landing stage which is about somewhere let's see if we can see it from about there all the way across so from here all the way down to there which in the grand scheme of things is pretty far um, and then we had a malfunction you know um, whole thing failed, flipped over and everything like that, but luckily um, some um, careful and steady skilled maneuvering managed to upright it again. Still had enough um, left in it to uh, be able to move around. All four wheels are still attached, still had um, RCS and, and uh, an RCS thruster. So, um, not again. Carefully does it. Okay, I'm gonna have to start slowing down now, I think. Oh god. Oh no. What I'm gonna do now is go on EBA because I don't trust it enough to uh, survive the crash. So, if you are going and taking a, a rover to uh, Minmus, be very careful because it could go ahead and explode it seems to seems to be pretty well built now it's quite stable um something did explode it was probably the last RCS tank so it's effectively useless now um let's have a look and it lands upright amazing but um yet yeah, the last RCS tank did get destroyed uh, it's an awful pity, um, but, you know, at least we have our rover on the surface of uh, Minmus. You know, it somehow survived. It's pretty impressive. Uh, terrible driving by me. Terrible, terrible driving. So I guess I'll just leave that as it is and go back towards this uh, tower here. We got pretty close, though. So that speed did help us out. Alrighty, so here he is on uh, Minmus on the uh, descent stage that didn't blow up and uh, somehow the uh, little lander didn't blow up as well. Um, but uh, he's going to wait here now. Um, he's gotten some great science and you know he found, found some uh, strange um non solid non anything rock you know and then uh he has some good driving around the rover the possibly one of the most dangerous rovers in the world uh oh, sorry not on the world and um now he's just going to wait it out for um the return mission where um two other kerbals are going to come along and collect him <laughs> 